good to meet up with you again. The last time that we met, you showed me the Sergio in its concept form, just with a little tiny windscreen. This is now the production car? Yeah, this is uh, one of a six uh, unit that has been uh, built and produced and sold already to six very, very lucky owner of this You're uh, telling new car. Me. Yeah, <laughs> You're telling yeah, yeah. me. And uh, what is good is that this car was represented as a very symbolic and extremely uh, advanced uh, show car. And then this car, just uh, less than two years after, has become a reality and the car are already running on the street, uh, everywhere in each one in every different region of the world. So it's a good uh, example of what Pininfarina can do from starting from a concept on an idea that could look really advanced and then take it to the reality of making a real car, a real uh, high performing car. Do you know, it's interesting as well because there are things, it's hard to improve on the 458 design, but you have done it. And noticeably for me, the thing I like is the front end treatment. I never mm. like the stack lights on the 458. Yes. And the fact you've taken them across, it makes the car look wider, more aggressive. I think it's really sexy, actually. Yeah, that actually is one of the trademarks of Pininfarina. If you look on history of Pininfarina historical car, quite often you have a very horizontal set of uh, transparent element which integrate uh, the, the lights. At that time it was made only mainly for aerodynamics. Yeah. So we wanted to keep this because it's part of our trademark and this design is undoubtedly a Pininfarina design. You look, it's absolutely looking fantastic. I just wish you'd made more than six, I really do. Sorry? I wish you'd made more than six cars. Yeah, <laughs> we wish, but that also is a good trade-off to find the right balance between exclusivity and, uh, and uh, the fact of seeing the thing real. So we have to find always the right balance and those cars are also aiming to become collector items. Undoubtedly. So I'm sure maybe in more than 20 years we will see one of those in some uh, uh, concours d'elegance around the world and uh, it will be very interesting to, to be able to see. It deserves to be. And it's always exciting to talk to you. I mean, is there another car in your sights for the future or I can't you say yet? Well, I cannot say it, but what I can say for sure that this uh, Sergio was for us a very uh, important um, way to translate into a modern, into a 21 century approach the, the, our history of, of body, of, of coach builder. Okay? Of so instead of doing just coach building one off car for a specific customer, which we still do, the fact of being able to manage together with Ferrari, because the car is a Ferrari, Yes. and is managed and sold by Ferrari. So together with Ferrari to manage a project from the beginning and to propose six very exclusive cars on the market, it assures also a level of quality, a level of coherence on the respect of the, of the brand, of Ferrari brand, and on the respect also of Pininfarina design. A, a final question for you, if I may. What are the biggest differences between the prototype and this car? Well, the biggest difference between the prototype of this car is obviously is the windscreen and the side windows. Yes. Because of course the prototype was so extreme, was imagined like a pure passion, a very very low sensation, object. Uh, yes, uh, object. But um, for everyday use, of course, and also for regular uh, for uh, for homologation in certain country, we needed to put uh, a windscreen. But I think it didn't spoil at all the design. The car became balanced, a bit more balanced, and it is looking more like a real car, which is a normal way to, on the process of evolution from a concept car to a straight legal car. Of course, and boy, is it looking good. Thank you very much.